Um, what about top lane right now? It's Vayne, Twisted Fate, Lucian, Quinn. Range champions only. Any other classes impossible to play against? I'm... So... I just want to, like, ask chat. Like, am I out of touch? Because... When anybody comes in and tells me top lane is range champions only, so this this fellow just said, hey, it's it's Vayne, Twisted Fate, Lucian Quinn, range champs only. I go look at it, and it's quite literally completely untrue. But like maybe I'm just looking at the wrong data. I'm like, I get I hear this a lot, but it feels like it's just off. So like as an example, this is the top lane play rate for all ranks right now in terms of champions. The most popular range champion in top lane is Teemo. Um, and then Aurora at 3%, she just came out. We got Kale and Jace at 3%. Vayne's 2%. Like, it just doesn't seem like top lane is being dominated by range champions in at least all ELOs. But then I also look at, like, Master Plus, and I look at the pick rates there, and it's, like, the same thing. It's, like, the scariest range champion master is Gnar, who's been there for all eternity. And so, like, I guess the thing I'm try having a hard time understanding is, like, where is this perception that top lane is exclusively range champions coming from? Because I check all the data and I just don't see, I don't see that that's happening. And this is including in pro, right? So like, if you go to pro play and you like say like look at four, uh, 14, 13 and you see what people are playing in top, there is Rumble, Rumble's 100%, and Nars up there and like Kennen's up there, but like, Zeri gets played twice. Like you know, Twisted Fate fairly rare. There's a lot more like. It just seems like there's like a pretty diverse meta in top lane, even in pro, with the exception of Rumble, he's pretty nuts, right? And so like, I'm having a hard time understanding where this um, perception that top lane is exclusively ranged characters comes from, because I'm not, I'm just not finding it. Um, and I, and I, it doesn't match what I see in the game, and it also doesn't match like any of the data I have. But it's something that is consistently brought up on stream, like I, I hear it a lot, like, hey, top lane is only ranged champions, and so I'm trying to like understand where that feeling is coming from. I think maybe it might be confirmation bias, and the idea here is uh, it is very, very frustrating to play against a ranged champion. So when you play against a ranged champion, you feel like that's all that's happening, because those are the games you remember. When you play against a Quinn and get beat up by one, you're like, this is the worst thing ever. Whereas if you play against a Darius, it's just kind of like another game. So is it like a region difference? If I look at EU West, what do I see? Like, yeah, maybe it's a regional difference. Because, you know, I tend to look at, like, you know, the average of the world. Let's go take a look at EU West. That's a, that's a good one. What are EU West players doing in top lane? So this is all ranks in EU West. Uh, again, it's basically melee champions in Teemo, which makes sense. Um, and then if we go to, like, Master Plus in EU West... Uh, Again, it's it's Nars up there, but like I just don't see many range champions. I guess Vayne has a four percent play rate. That's definitely a very real play rate. So one thing I'll note is that if you talk, about, I, I would say this current meta is you are probably more likely to run into range champions than you've been in the past. So I think that's definitely true. I think like the experience of top lane, you're probably some percent more likely to see range champions compared to historic uh, historic patches, which. And that could definitely create this feeling of like, that's all I play against. Um, look between, look in plat emerald. I could look in plat emerald, but I don't think that would really change anything. Let's take a look at emerald plus. Uh, yeah, this is emerald plus, it's pretty similar. It's like emerald plus Teemo falls out and like the, the first top laner you run into is Jace. So yeah, I don't know. So yeah, it's probably it's probably just like they're a lot more common than they used to be. So it's very it's definitely possible that like you know some amount of games you're gonna be running into these range top laners. And to be fair, a lot of range top laners tend to be like fairly frustrating to play against. Mm. That said, uh, I think something worth noting that's pretty important here is the goal when we balance the game, especially around things like top lane, is there. I want to be like very clear: there is no goal to delete range characters from top lane. We don't have that goal. We are not trying to get to that situation. Uh, it is important that the range champions in top lane are not overly prevalent. It is important that they are balanced. Like, if Vayne is, like, you know, showing up in most of your top lane games, that's probably a pretty bad result. But the goal is not delete range champs from top lane. The goal is just make sure they're fair and balanced and make sure that melee has a large presence there and feels like they can play the game. 
Which, by the way, a thought I have is, like, I wonder if bruisers are, like, able to play the game right now. Not just in top lane, but just in general, right? Like, I wonder if bruisers are able to, like, play League of Legends. Like, one of the things I've noticed from bruisers as an example is that most of them aren't able to build any defense in terms of armor or MR, which probably makes them really, really squishy in teamfights, which is probably really rough for, like, a bruiser's ability to do their job. So I'm, I'm curious about stuff like that. 